In previous videos, we talked about different aspects of our lens in our eye, like uh, the radius of curvature, thickness, the refractive index. Right now, I want to talk about accommodation range, or generally accommodation of the lens in our eye, which is a very important aspect of our uh, eye. So first, we need to talk about what does it mean, accommodation. Accommodation is a Middle French and Latin word uh, that uh, means act of fitting or adapting to the situation. So when we say our eye is accommodated, it means that it's adapted to the situation. So what does it mean? When you have an object that is close to your eyes, your eyes need to be changed in order to keep that object into focus. Or when an object is far from your eyes, then your eyes need to be uh, fitted for that object now let's look at uh, the actually the process of accommodation so the process of accommodation which means that you know for example when you're looking at an object that is close to your eyes when you look at the object that's far from you it happens in a less than one second you know our brain understand that okay for this object that is close to my i mean close to me I need to do accommodate and for the object that is far, I need to be relaxed. That process, that process that the stimulus response mechanism of accommodation is still unknown to us. That how our brain can know that this object is close, the other object is far. Right now we know because of experience, but how our brain knows that, you know, which direction should um, our eye should go. So uh, the question is that, uh, you know how our brain decide about uh, which direction should go should should it do accommodation or should it go relax in the relaxed situation our lens is like this is more flat so the power is low and in accommodation our lens uh, you know the two muscles ciliary muscle push the size of the lens and uh, those lines that we call it zonals uh, and the press i mean not press remove the tension from the lens and the lens get more a spherical shape and uh, the for the actually power of the lens increase and then you can see object that is very close to you so let's look at the number when you are looking at the object that is very far for example a very far houses uh, we can say the object com uh, compared to the image, which is in our retina and you know the size of our eye is pretty small, let's say about 10 millimeters, very far from our eye. So we can say it's infinity. At that time, our eye is completely relaxed. So the optical power of our eye at that time, which is the, com I mean the optical power of the lens at that time, is from 19 to 22 diopter. Then when you are looking at the object that is about 10 centimeter from your eyes like these kids looking at the cell phone which is not a good thing because you know you put a lot of pressure on your eye which is 10 centimeter from your eyes the total uh, actually power of your lens incre increase by 13 diopter so that's kind of uh, the amount of change from far to very close about 10 centimeter to uh, your face so th this distance you know from the furthest object that we can see to the closest object that we can see because you know very very close it's get blurry very very far we cannot see it this distance we call it accommodation range which means that at the range that our eye can accommodate can focus defocus you know uh, the lens can you know you can see here at very far distance the lens is more like flat surface, but at very close, it get more curved surface. So at both distance, the focus is at retina, which is really amazing. You know, we have an optical system that is always remains at focus. Far distance, close distance, and that process is very quick. So here are some references that I use for this video. Thank you.